Happy holidays and shop Central Kentucky. I'm Kim Houston in downtown Bardstown to show you one of our wonderful stores here, all decorated for Christmas, and it will certainly get you in the Christmas spirit. I'm with Joyce Wilkin, the owner of Plantation Furniture, and Martha Foraker, our designer. And do we have some things for you ladies to show us today? Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Thanks for coming in. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Happy holidays, Joyce. Happy, happy holiday to you, too. Thank this you. is one of those stores you always want to come into because of the trees are just magnificent. Magnificent. And one of them is behind us right here, too. But something special this season that they have to feature is a new collection. And we've all heard of the home, the Biltmore, in uh, Asheville, North Carolina. And they're, they're very excited this year to be featuring a special line. Martha, you want to tell us about it? This is the Biltmore collection. The collection was inspired by the um, furnishings at the Biltmore State. And um, there's, tw there's 80 pieces in the collection total. Um, half of those are upholstered, half are wood, and um, the reason that we really were attracted to it was because of the quality of the construction as well as like how unique mm -hmm. the pieces were because um, the owner of the home, George Vanderbilt, loved to travel, and so he had um, very uh, exquisite taste, and he would go to France and Italy and collect pieces to furnish the home with. So um, what you'll see here are the unique touches that, that the designers built into the pieces. And it's something that's scaled down for um, proportional to current homes today. Well, let's talk about one of the ones you see right when you walk in that catches your eye, certainly. And this is Magnificent Bed. Uh, tell us a little bit about the bed. This is the Boulevard Bed. This um, has a special meaning to George uh, Vanderbilt because it's a replica of the bed in their Paris apartment. And so um, the, it, this finish is an ironwood finish, and it's available. There are like 18, 14 different wood finishes that you can select from. And, uh, and specially, special fabrics they use just for that, their line and their... Uh, yeah, there's like 45 different fabrics to select from. The fabrics from. for the headboard. Mm -hmm. and, and so that, that makes it set out. If you come in here and say, well, maybe this doesn't fit yeah. uh, my, my decor in my bedroom, you certainly have all these different fabrics to choose from. And we have this, um, we have it in a king and a queen um, on the floor. Okay. So it's available immediately in either size. Okay. Another one of my favorites is right here behind us, and it is this wonderful writing desk. Now, this looks to me like something that you would think that Stephen Foster would have sat on and written My Old Kentucky Home. It just, it looks like that classy and beautiful type piece. Let's talk about this. Well, it's funny you should say that because this is called the Pauline writing desk, named after um, Pauline was the sister of George's wife. So um, Edith Vanderbilt would have guests come and stay. You know, they had a, a lot of guest rooms and um, Pauline liked to write home and she had a desk in, in her guest room. And this was a, this is a reproduction of that heirloom piece. And a lot of the pieces are either reproductions of heirlooms or they're complete new pieces, just pulling in the details from French and Italian, you know, marquetry, so. And I love, I guess that's leather uh, in the middle of that? Mm -hmm. With the V for Vanderbilt embossed in it. And the iron railing is a particularly attractive mm -hmm. on this piece, and people have really liked that very much. That's just a beautiful piece. Now let's talk about another people, uh, piece that catches your eye. Certainly, I think it's because of the, the mirrored concept of, of this particular piece. Let's talk about this. This is one of the credenzas. Um, it's one finish of uh, many. And um, the framework here was um, uh, copied after one of the trellises on the estate. And we have another console with um, the quatrefoil framework on it. So we have a good, good variety, good assortment of finishes and designs to look at. And this has got some great storage. This is uh, good for a dining room. Put your linens, extra, extra dishware in here. Well, we've made our way over kind of to the living area in this beautiful settee. Again, the finish, I think, is what catches people's eyes, Joyce, when you walk in, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Yes. It's been, it's been well, well received. Real received. 
But what's different about this, Martha, as we were talking earlier, is this is not your typical settee. It's actually much larger than it was uh, actually during the, the era. Yeah, they have modernized the pieces. They've kept the detail. You'll see the fine carving on the, the wood frame. It's the same fine carving you'll see on the bed. Um, just touches of that French or Italian feel, but it's just downsized and it's played to today's home and you still get the, the interest there. And the seats are deep versus your antique settees tend to sit very narrow. Mm -hmm. And the pillows, the fabric on the pillows coordinate with the fabric on the headboard. So. And do you still have the multiple uh, variety of uh, fabrics for, for this yes, as well so too? Some of these fabrics are exclusive just for, the, for this uh, line of furniture from this company. So, uh, and this particular fabric, people have really, really enjoyed this one. Have liked this. I think what you'll find when you come in here and look at these pieces too, you're going to be surprised is your price point. I mean, you would think that these were something that no budget could be able to afford unless your last name still remains to be Vanderbilt, <laughs> but uh, that's not the case. It's, it's really surprising when people walk over and turn the uh, price tag on. <laughs> They're very, very excited, I think, about the price. And the other thing, some of the furniture scale down. People, when you say Vanderbilt, sometimes they think it's going to be a huge, massive piece, piece of furniture. Right. But none of this is built that way. None of this, some of this has been scaled down and gives it a very livable uh, line to work with. Well, let's, let's take a, a walk over to probably my favorite piece. And Joyce will tell you that this piece I saw from the outside when I was walking through uh, Bardstown one day, and it caught my eye from the outside so much, I had to come in and take a look at it. And that is this amazing, amazing bar. And Martha, you've got to tell me the story on this piece. Well, this is, um, the technical name for this is a beverage cabinet, but um, it's an armoire style bar and you'll see on the um, front of the door this beautiful wood carving and they've um, done that as well on the inside so you can have it closed or open for your derby parties and um, it's uh, fully there's room for a fully stocked bar here your wine glasses you have an antique smoked mirror on the back um, wine bottles at the bottom and um, plenty of storage. This, this one has really, really gotten attention. Uh, people are walk in the door and they instantly are drawn to this and they've been very pleased with uh, the styling and also the price. They're very surprised at the price. And it's very, very affordable. And I think this has multi-purposes because if you don't want a bar in your home, I think you can use something like this for, for many other purposes as well, too. I mean, it, it would be a great shelving. It, it's just such an eye catcher when you walk in here and it's, it's just something anyone would love to have in their home. And it's not so massive that it won't fit in everyone's home. So many times you think of something like this with so massive, but it's not. It actually would fit in the average, si uh, the average size home. A great display case, you know, for people who want to show off something very special they have in their home. This would be a great piece uh, to add those things in, uh, co collectible things that you wanted for your home. This has been quite an eye catcher. Well, beautiful furniture and a beautiful store right here in, in time for the holidays at, at Plantation Furniture. There's all sorts of things in here from the Biltmore Collection to all the other beautiful trees you see in here. It's just worth coming in here and seeing the trees and all the other furniture uh, all in one big facility now. Uh, and everything is right here uh, from accessories to pillows to mirrors to pictures, a little bit of everything. Joyce and Don would love for you to come in and see some of the furniture and then Martha would love to be able to design it to fit right in your home. We also would like to show you that we have uh, some beautiful nativity sets ranging both in size and price. This one especially is a da Vinci set and it's been well, well received. Uh, so we want to take this opportunity since it is the season to f wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year from Martha and Don and Joyce.